Okay, so now this is your turn. And you're gonna probably have time to do this during class and then maybe we can do some sharing out. Remember, if this is your first listen, the expectation is that you listen at least three times, okay? So the first time being just for flow, the second time being for purpose, and I would say your purpose is probably your main idea in that listen. And then the third listen is when you can kind of write down those key details. And you know, you can listen for them throughout, but the third listen being like, okay, I'm gonna pick those two key details. Remember, you're, you're, you don't need to capture them word for word. That is not the point. The point is that you hear them, you remember the gist of what they said, and you write that down in your words, okay? All right, here we go. This is giving you a clue about what you're gonna be reading about. It is very similar to what you just heard from your teacher, because we were talking uh, about flightless birds there, but now we're zooming in on one particular flightless bird. What is the largest living flightless bird? If you said ostrich, you're right. In fact, the ostrich is the largest living bird, flightless or not. Some even weigh over 300 pounds. But ostriches live in Africa, where lions, leopards, cheetahs, and hyenas live. So how do they survive? Well, Ostriches can run over 40 miles an hour, faster than any other bird, and most other animals as well. They also have sharp claws on their feet that kick with tremendous strength. An ostrich can also stand its ground and defend itself. Its long, powerful legs can kick hard, and the sharp toenail of the of Ugh, sorry, the sharp toenail on the larger of its two toes can rip an animal open. One thing's for sure, it's not easy to mess with an ostrich. Okay, so make sure you listen at least two more times. If this is your first listen, then you're going to write your summary. Remember, a summary is a main idea sentence a key detail sentence that supports your main idea, and then a second key detail sentence. That's a total of three sentences. Each sentence needs a sentence starter. Hopefully you know all of this by this point in the year though, right? You're getting close to expert mode, I hope. 